Ron. Ron. Last name? Dunn. Is that your name, or are you telling me you're finished talking? Both. Done and done. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ron. Okay, Eagleton Ron, tell me a little about yourself. Well, I love the outdoors, love nature. Amen. I'm a big believer in environmental conservation, recycling and composting and the like. I'm a yoga nut, and I'm a nut nut. They make delicious milks, man. And I'm a vegan, of course. Slowly working towards full freaking vegan. Hmm. What in God's name is freaking vegan? You only eat vegetables that have been thrown out in people's dumpsters. What is on your foot, sir? My trusty sandals. I believe a man's feet should remain uncaged. Same goes for all chickens. Well, uh, Eagleton Ron, we here in Pawnee value loyalty above all else. So would you be opposed to signing an official loyalty pledge to our new town? Well, as long as that new town were open to the ideals of communal living, where everyone pitches in towards a common good, in the immortal words of Cat Stevens, if you want to be free, be free. I no longer like Ron. What in the name of all that is holy is that smell? Yerba mate tea, sweetened with stevia, it's an all-natural plant extract. Shut your damn mouth. No need to curse. There most certainly is. I made Unity cookies with the Pawnee Town's original colors of blue and yellow. However, I did not have yellow frosting, so I had to use mustard. But do not worry, I put tons of sugar on them so it will even it out. Mmm, <laughs> sugar mustard. That's awful kind of you, Leslie. I'm afraid those are a little too sweet for me. I unhooked from that big sugar train over 30 years ago. You are a man of principle, and I respect that, cool, Ron. You can't force friendship, Leslie. It takes time. I once thought I had a friend. Then it turned out he was the single worst person I have ever met. I agree with Ron, Leslie. It's like Maz once said, hold on to your friends. Morrissey, the Smiths, you don't know meat is murder. It's one of the best songs ever written about industrialized beef consumption. Okay, Eagleton Ron, I think it might be time for you to go. This Ron has a position pretty much locked up, and uh, I don't think we have any room for you in our department. Fair enough. I should have seen it. Taurus and Capricorns, they were mixed, do they? Just remember, Ron, giving it a hate is like drinking salt water. The thirst only grows worse. Leslie, remove this man before I commit an act of violence against him. Whatever you do, I won't fight back. Oh, man, this wine bottle is all out of the wine. Well, hello, gentlemen. What brings you out on this fine evening? Mother Whoa, where'd you come from? Uh, that's a complicated question. All depends on whether your conception of time is linear or circular. What? Hello, Ron. Ron. You know this hobo? He was my counterpart from the Eagleton Parks Department. Dude, are you a ghost? Am I? What is happening right now? Mr. Ron Dunn, I have something I'm very angry about, but other Ron, he's not helping me with it. Can you help? Well, I can tell by the indigo on your chick lips that you've been drinking blueberry wine. That's a good start. A Wamapo called it Matapiqua. They believed it had mystical powers. Yeah, it also tastes like jelly. So what's got your goat there, friend? My parents, they had this lake house, and they sold it without telling me. And so I was like, why, you know? I was like, God, you guys. Oh, you're hanging on to that anger for dear life, compadre. Let's role play. Hoi, hi! It was beautiful. You're surrendering to the Earth Mother. Now stare into the fire and picture your spirit animal. Well, I don't know what my spirit animal is. Because it doesn't exist, because that's nonsense, because you're an adult. Baby Snow Owl. He's right. Our spirit animals connect us to the natural world. You need to remain open to their message. Watch.
Welcome back, old friend. Wow. If you really want to cleanse yourself of that anger, take that check and send it into the flames and up into the air with your screams. Do not burn that check. It is money. No, Ron's right, Ron. Yeah, there, baby Snowell. You're safe now. This is him right here. I'll also get out here and walk home. You sure? This thing runs on vegetable oil and bat guano. Actually cleans the air as it drives. Quite sure, thank you. Hey. Thank you for helping me with my anger. You've already emerged from your cocoon. Now the question is, will you fly? Yeah, I don't feel any better. I'm still angry. Damn it. Fuck up, Swanson. It's like you said, death is natural. And Sal lived a good long life. But so much is changing. And I've never been a fan of change. Salvatore was a constant in my life. In my experience, the only constant is change. No. Oh, nice to see you, Ron. I couldn't help but overhear. Sure, I'm sorry about your loss. You know, every time we lose a compadre, our collective lantern gets a little bit dimmer. Hey, you look awful familiar. Have we met before? Oh, I'm sure our souls have collided in one lifetime or another. No, that's not it. Are you in my Frisbee golf league? Oh, yeah. I play for the Super Spinners. Oh, I'm on the Frisbee champs. Oh, yeah, cool. I named us. Andrew, stop speaking to this man. He is the worst human being on Earth. Oh, come on. Death makes brothers of us all. I've always found that when my soul aches with loss, it's best to turn to Eastern wisdom. This is from the Isle of Isla in Scotland. This is as Eastern as my wisdom gets. Swanson, this handsome spiritual cowboy may actually be right about turning to the East. I have an idea. Trust me? Who cuts your hair? Nobody. Whenever my hair feels it has completed its journey, it simply sheds itself off. I hate you so much. And I love you, my brother. This way, please. Excuse me, Ron. I'm talking to my best friends. Let me go. Best friends, attack Ron! 